Glad to have you join us. This is Post Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. It's good to have you join us once again. I'm Austin Okonakwan. On the show today, we will find out what's going on after action uh, from March day four of the Nigeria Professional Football League. Guys, start counting the away victories because we recorded another away victory in the Nigeria Professional Football League. We'll talk about that one tonight on the show. If I in Uba, they visited Lagos uh, right there at Agege Stadium. Well, it was uh, the Lagos team, and I met victorious. It ended MFM 2, if I in Uba 2. We'll talk about March the 4th of the Nigeria Professional Football League comprehensively on the show tonight. We'll also continue where we stopped last night, uh, counting down to the Africa Wrestling Championship that will take place in Port Harcourt. Uh, we'll listen to uh, the president of the sports writers of the... Of, uh, First Factor Association of Nigeria, Nosirao, and the River State Government, how they're getting ready for the championship. The president of the federation also talked to us, um, explaining that 90, 90 wrestlers will represent Nigeria, and then, uh, that Egypt and Algeria, they are major threats to Nigeria's success at that one. Tonight on the show, Daniel Gali will explain the technicalities of wrestling to us, because we just see them carry themselves, do the throws, uh, we don't even know how points are scored. That's why we're here. We're going to teach you and make you understand the sport of wrestling on the show tonight. We'll do just that. Also, we'll find out what's going on with the Super Eagles of Nigeria. You know the story. They're about leaving Agadar back to Tangier. That's because that's where they will be playing. Uh, they are qualifying our game. We're still waiting uh, for an opponent to be confirmed, but the Super Eagles, they've qualified the top group C and are looking good to advance at the competition. It's been a tournament of upsets in Melbourne. The Australian Open are uh, arguably, to me, the, the, the competition that has the most upsets ever. What sort of story is Chung trying to write uh, for us at the Australian Open? He won the surprise semi-final uh, match at Rod uh, Leva Arena, and um, it becomes the first uh, South Korea's first semi-finalist at the Grand Slam event. We'll talk about that one. And, of course, you know the big one when Angeli Kerber and, of course, uh, Simona Halep will clash in the semi-finals, but it's all about Caroline Wozniacki. Everyone believes she can actually go into the final and win a first Grand Slam title. Yeah, but I doubt also that she hasn't won it before. So that's what should also get us talking on the show tonight. So much is going on in our world of sports. We're also counting down religiously because in Nigeria, they love their football. And so they're counting down to the 2018 FIFA World Cup. We'll listen to the NFF once again. They rolled out some plans about last week or two weeks ago. Are ah, they following it through? We'll listen to uh, the NFF explain uh, the 2018 World Cup plans. That tells you so much going down in our world of sports. And that's why I don't like doing this show alone. I keep inviting you. Come, let us do it together. Let us play for the love of the game. Someone wants to talk to us. Yes, you can. Uh, we've designed everything so that you can be part of this on um, social media platforms. Very active on Twitter. Verified Twitter handle. Uh, channels underscore sports. I want you to talk to us. Let's keep it simple. Hashtag MPFL. Hashtag 2018 Chan. Hashtag uh, 2018 Wrestling. Africa Wrestling Championship. Let's also uh, use the hashtag Australian Open. So much going down in our world of sports. Let's keep that conversation going. Twitter channels on the sports, sports Facebook channels. I feel sports. Also, all our top stories can be viewed on our website. It's channelstv.com and on YouTube four slash channels web. And it gets better, guys. If you log on to m.channelstv.com, you'll be able to download the Channels TV app for any of those devices you see right there. And we're doing this because we want you to be part of everything that is going down in our beautiful world of sports your android your ios your windows phones and your blackberries can also do it log on to m.channelstv.com download the app and be part of everything that is going down in our racy pacy action-packed world of sports let's uh, get into the show now but before uh, we start giving you sports updates let's um let's take this is channels television's breaking news So breaking news coming from uh, the news desk. The former secretary to the government of the Federation, Babacha Lawal, is in custody of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. The former SGF was recently sacked from office by President Muhammad Dubuari following his indictment by a panel set up to probe allegations of corruption 
against him. So we have breaking news for you. And as it develops, we will tell you more. The former secretary to the government of the Federation, Babacar Lawal, is in custody of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC. The former SGF was recently sacked from office by President Muhammad Dubwari following his indictment by a panel set up to probe allegations of corruption against him. So we'll continue to monitor that story and then we'll give you more updates as it unfolds. Let's go into the show proper and sports tonight on Channels Television. Uh, we're counting down to the Africa Wrestling Championships and we told you that a one-day retreat was done in Portaco to educate the media on the dynamics of wrestling. And um, so much we learned at that um, uh, one-day retreat because it's important for the media to educate the public so that they get to know what wrestling is all about. A lot of persons don't know what goes down. Our Commissioner for Information in River State there and the Commissioner for Sports, President of Nigeria, the Federation. This man trained Daniel Igali, uh, Jackson Bide. He was also there and he was a proud, proud man um, when he listened to all that Daniel Igali has achieved, both as an Olympian and, of course, President of the Nigeria Wrestling Federation. But Daniel Igali's well, role at this retreat was to educate the media and make them understand wrestling as a sport so let's listen to daniel Igali as he breaks down some of the scoring system in wrestling some of them you know but we just don't know how it happens and how points are scored let's listen to daniel Igali. we'll be right back if in the process of wrestling somebody steps out of the wrestling circle out of bounds you lose a point if you if somebody goes behind the opponent so they're on their two knees and their two hands on the ground that is two points if an opponent is taken directly from standing position to danger position which is your back goes on the mat from standing position is four points and if in the process of wrestling i execute a throw where there is high amplitude, so almost close to your, the height of your head, that's five points. And if I take you down and your back is on, the both shoulders are on the ground for just one second, that's the end of the match, it's called a pinfall. And the ultimate aim of wrestling is to get the pinfall. In Greco-Roman, Greco-Roman scoring is slightly different from freestyle scoring, and I'll give you the difference between Greco-Roman wrestling and freestyle wrestling. Freestyle wrestling is what we, what is closer to what we do here, uh, except the different rules on the ground and, and all that, but you attack the legs, you attack every part of the body. But in Greco-Roman, you only wrestle from your waist up, so you don't touch the legs at all. Your feet cannot be entangled with their feet, neither can your hands have any contact with their legs. So it's just